Within this video, then we're going to be looking today at how we can quickly and easily identify duplicates within our data that we have. And we're going to be doing this in two ways. We're going to be looking at the data validation and we're also going to be using this with conditional formatting. So starting out with the data validation, then we can see that we have our data of names here. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the column D, which is what we're going to be working on to start out with. We're then going to go up from the data tab that we have up here and we can go across to the data validation. So once we're in the data validation point, so once you've opened up data validation, then we can see that we have any values selected and we're just going to change this and we're going to be popping in a custom formula at this point. We can see that this formula bar opens up for us and we're going to go down here and we're going to enter in the formula count if. We then need to open parentheses and because we want to check the whole of column D, which we're currently working in, we're going to put in column D colon D. And what that's going to do is just select the whole entire column. We then want to make sure that we're starting from top to bottom. So at this point here, we can put in D1 because we want that to be the first cell that we check as it will then check D1, it will check D2, D3, D4, D5 and so on and so on, working its way down as we want it to kind of go down. Once we've done this, we want it to say equal one, okay, because we want to see if it does equal one, and if it does equal one, then we're going to get this message up for us. And at this point, what you can do as well is you can also say you can put an input message here, or you can also change the error alert. So if you want to put something else, so it says information, and then say... something like this value already exists, then we can keep that there. So we have our little formula and we've changed our information here. So we can click OK at this point now. And what we can do is we can see if we type in say Elon and then press enter, we're going to get this pop up box that we've created here saying that this value already exists. And we have the, have the ability to just type in our new names if we want to do say for instance, Mark or whatever. But the minute that we type in something else that we've already got there, so Jeff, then we're just going to keep getting this here. One thing to bear in mind though while using this is if, say for instance, someone takes Jeff and pops it in uh, from a copy and paste rather than manually inputting it. So if they copied it from here where the data validation isn't an issue or it's currently not inputted in column F and then they're inputting that into column D where the data validation is, then it won't pick up that error because it's classed as formatting rather than inputting data. So it's just one to bear in mind there. So if that could be a potential issue for you, then this next way using conditional formatting could be a better way to get around this for you. And the way that we're going to do this with conditional formatting is again, we're going to click on column D highlighting the whole column. We're going to go to home and we want to click on conditional formatting here. We want to highlight the cell rules and we want to highlight it based on duplicate values. And we can see here that we've got the little drop down that's saying duplicate. And then we have the ability to format however we want these to show up for us. And we'll leave it as a light red fill with dark red text. So we'll click OK and we can see for now that we don't have any duplicates. But the minute that we type in something like so, we can see that our data validation kicks in. But also the conditional formatting kicks in as it highlights the cells red and it gives us the red text as well. So where we had the issue before with the data validation, not picking up formatted cells that are being copied over. If we use, for some reason I always keep typing Jess. If we copy this over for Jeff and then we paste Jeff in there. And then once again, we follow the conditional format and say duplicate values. We can see there that this will highlight that issue, even though it gets past the data validation point it don't get past the conditional format. And so if this is something where you know that people are going to be copying in quite a lot of data, then this is potentially how you can find that out and you'll be able to see all the duplicates in your list. So hopefully this is helpful. If you've got any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments below and I'll see you again soon.